Hi, in this video we're going through how to get gold in the GTA 5 mission Minor Turbulence, where Trevor will drive a plane into a plane. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA 5 and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting Gold in Every Damn Mission in GTA 5 as we take a look at the Grand Theft Auto mission, Minor Turbulence. And don't forget to hang about until the end for our bonus tips on how to get through this one first time. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news, and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. Getting gold in this one is a lot of fun, especially considering we fly a plane into a plane. But the first part can be a little bit tedious. It's good flying practice, though. To get gold in this one, we'll need to finish with a shooting accuracy of 80% and leave the plane in a car. So let's pick it up after we take control of Trevor. We'll just jump straight in the truck. And just quickly find ourselves the local ammunition and we'll go pick up some armor actually real quick because I've noticed we're a little bit low on it. So just zip around. There's no time limit here so we can take a little bit of extra time to make sure we're all prepped up. If you don't have the money for armor, there's also some near the hospital as well. Over to the armor. There we go. That is the armor sorted. And now we can jump back in the truck. I do like these exchanges with Melvin though. They are amusing. Might as well tool up while we're here too. So let's just grab some extra shotgun shells. Where'd the cargo? Right, back in we go. Wait for Ron to catch up. And now we can follow the blue marker this time to the airfield. Okay, so we'll just pull in to the airfield here. Right. And make sure we pull out to the right as well. We don't want to get to the left-hand side of that hangar. Okay, so once Trevor has um, voiced his concern about the pace of the plane that Ron has selected, we'll jump in and then take off. All right, hangar left. And let's get ourselves in the air. Okay, so you can see the blue marker on the left-hand side there. We just want to swing around and point ourselves at the Merryweather jet. There we go. Near enough is good enough. And then once we've spotted it, it will be easy to uh, easy to follow. Okay, so we need to dip below the radar marker there so we don't get picked up by the Air Force. And Merryweather don't think we're a threat and try and shoot us out of the sky with a couple of uh, Hydras. Always a little bit of chop over the hills too, so just keep an eye on that. There he is. Now, remember to stay low through the valleys here. You don't have to go under any bridges this time around, but, you know, you can if you feel like it. We just need to make sure that we stay low enough that that radar doesn't go off. Now, this is quite scripted. There's a lot of exposition here. There's no way to speed this up. It really is just a case of tailing the plane until, I think, just about the other side of the island, and that's the only time that you can then catch up. All right, so just staying low, we'll go around the island, stay over the water. Just remember, it will get a little bit squirrely as you get lower. So just keep an eye on it. Now, there's no way, again, to catch up to the plane. You just have to sit here and wait for it to go through. And uh, you'll notice there as well, on the left-hand side, Franklin has just SMSed us. And that relates to the next part of the storyline where some of our old friends try to catch up with us. All right, so staying below that radar line, at least for now. Just watch out for uh, trees and radio towers while you're, you're doing this. If you're not confident going over the trees, you can also just head out to the ocean there. 
tiny bit slower, not much, tiny bit slower, but it also means it's a lot easier to manage your altitude. Okay, so we can now ascend. Okay, so as we make the approach, Merriweather get increasingly upset. That's okay, because that does prompt them to open the cargo bay on the Titan. Right, there they go. They've opened up. Here goes the first missile. They're not very good shots either. Okay, so line yourself up, and this is the most critical part. There we go. Trevor's in. Automatically jumps out. Off the plane goes, and we're automatically into cover. Right, do not use explosives here, it will not end well. Uh, I like the shotgun, so we'll just take these guys out real quick. Yeah, don't forget Trevor has rampage mode as well, if you get stuck. Yep, got him. Got him again. Okay, so we'll grab some more cover here. Right, through. One more there, I think that's it. No, one more on the left. Oh, missed him. There we go. Okay, and then up the ladder. Right, we'll sort him. Oof. That was uh, that was quick. Great. Jump in. And then we get to take control of the Titan. Okay, so after a little bit of prompting, Trevor will turn the plane around and uh, head back to Mackenzie. Not that we're going to make it there, but we'll give it a good old crack. So, uh, the Titan is, or the cargo plane I should say, is slow and heavy. It's not a manoeuvrable little beastie. So just bear that in mind when you're heading around. It does, however, get a little bit squirrely still, so that's fine. So you can see Mackenzie Airfield there in the distance. That's where we're going to head off to. And uh, whoop, we've got a couple of planes joining us. Right, so we're prompted by Ron to ascend, so we'll head up. Yeah, this is fairly inconsequential, but we will... Do what the game prompts us to do at the very least so we can get that that all important gold so we're slowly making our way up okay so the flyboys are clear to engage now so they will start shooting at us very soon there we go just in cinematic view there so that is the end of the plane as soon as we can we'll get back into first person or third person i should say rather than the plane there we go, Trevor's just prompted to get the chute, jump in the car, and then drive on out Fast and the Furious style. There we go. We can enjoy the view for a few seconds, and then we'll bail out of the car. And pull the chute, we got the nice black chute there because, you know, special ops in Merriweather. And now it really is just a case of descending safely. There's nowhere we have to be. We just have to get down without injuring Trevor. So I think that's the hospital. So that means we're pretty close to home. So let's see how close we can get here safely. Whoa. Oh, that's all right. He's not dead. He's okay. And that is gold. So, four-wheel flyer and 100% accuracy. So, got to be happy with that. That is fantastic. So, thanks for hanging about until the end. Here are my top tips on how to get through this one first time. Be patient when catching up to the jet. Shortcutting this can result in a failed mission. Approach the rear of the plane a little higher to avoid the jet wash. And use projectile weapons on the plane, not explosives. Otherwise, it can be a mission fail. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers, or could this have been done differently? Leave your comment down below. And check out the video on the left for the next mission, or the one on the right for some more old Grumpy Gamer goodness. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.